Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up, um, it's going to be called uh, network, view network connections. And in here you can see your Wi-Fi networks. And what you can do is right click on it, click on properties, and look at, most everybody will be running internet protocol version 4, and just double click on it. Now in here, um, you can look and see if you have uh, set to obtain your IP address automatically from your router. This is what it normally should be set to. I had to set a static address to get around this. Um, all you do is just make up something that's in your range, like a 192.168.1. say 150, if that's within your router's range. But what was happening was, let me see if I can pull up. You can run um, CMD down in there and it should bring up a DOS prompt and in here you can run IP config and it'll show you all your um, connections if they're um, connected to the router so in this case you see I have a Wi-Fi 4 and it's got the local address from the router as um, see it says Wi-Fi 4 here 192.168.1.105 well what was happening before we got this fixed is this kept getting a 164 um, IP address and it was from I uh, started figuring it out it was from the uh, um, Microsoft uh, virtual connections I had like 15 of them um, there was a bunch of them and it was getting them from that until uh, we got to the latest patch so if you're seeing a 164 in here or there's a 164 dot something dot something dot something slash 192 um, you can try these remedies which is I'll, t I'll show you exactly what worked for me um, let's bring up the Microsoft page and I'll put this down in the description of the YouTube video and let's scroll down I'll put the link in there um, kids are playing overwatch so I'm sorry about the noise um, Let's scroll down, and it was this section right here, and I will actually put this in the description. What you want to do is um, follow these instructions. You have type command prompt, um, but uh, let's go over here, and you right click on that Windows Start, and you'll see command prompt admin, and you'll click on that, and that way you have an uh, administrator access to your account, or to your computer's account. And I'll make this screen a little bit bigger. Okay, so what you would do is just type in these commands when sock reset, and then you press enter. I'm not going to do that now because I got everything working. And then the, the next command would be the uh, net sh int initializing ip reset, and then press the enter key. And then you would do the IP config uh, release and press the enter key. And then you would do so on and so forth. The IP config uh, renew and then the IP front slash flush DNS. Now, if those things don't work, make sure you've got the latest patch. I know it's a pain. What I kept doing was putting a static IP address in there to get around Microsoft's issues. Um, what you want to do is to make sure and go back and check that you do not have a static IP in your Wi-Fi connection. Just go back to obtain IP address automatically, obtain DNS server address automatically, hit OK, and then you'll want to reboot. And then if that still doesn't work, go back and do these commands uh, that are kind of in the middle of this Microsoft fix page. And that should at least that fixed the problem for me. I hope it fixes the problem for you too. Thanks.